how to use Airtable for inventory management. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with inventory management using Airtable. Airtable is one of the best tools out there when it comes to both project management and inventory management and can help you in ensuring that you can keep everything on track as well as everything categorized in a orderly fashion. They also have solutions for operations, finance, HR, and much more. So let's get started with Airtable. Simply click on sign up for free on the top right. Once you click on sign up for free, you're just going to sign up with your email address. And I'm just going to proceed on to my account over here on Airtable. Now, once we've created our account, it's time to get started with creating our first base. Now, Airtable has bases as workspaces. So a workspace can be found on the left and different businesses can be set up in different workspaces. You can also click on templates and applications on the bottom left. Once you do this, you will be able to browse all the available templates and you can pick out the one that you like the best. You can even search for inventory tracking and you will actually see there's a specific template created by Airtable that is meant for inventory tracking. Now, you also have an office inventory manager template and Airtable has now introduced AI. So you can click on start with AI and you can answer a couple of questions with the AI to build a customized Airtable workspace. But I like to get started with the templates that are already present. So I'm just going to go into their inventory tracking template. This is a really nice and generalized type of template that can be customized to any niche or any type of inventory tracking. Whether you're tracking your inventory for your e-commerce store or your POS system, this can serve as a really great indicator to set up your reordering, to set up your meetings, to set up the volumes that you're going to be purchasing the next time, and much, much more. Click on try this template and then just create this template within your first workspace. Once you create your template, you are going to see it on the center screen. Now on the left, you will have some basic uh, startups and we're going to close this up over here. We have a basic starting guide and once we have completed that we can see on the top we have a simple drop down for individual menu sections so if we open up one menu section we can add more data you can see your inventory manager has different tabs in your first tab you will have your product inventory then you have warehouse locations then you have manufacturers purchase orders as well as sale orders now, if there is any other type of section within your inventory that you would like to add, for example, you want to divide the inventory manager into two sections where you want to manage your clothing inventory in one section and then your accessories inventory in another section. So for that, you can just click on add or import table. You can click on start from scratch and create a new table. And we're going to rename this table to our sunglasses inventory or inventory. So we're going to just create that. And once we do that, we can fulfill all the data. You can take inspiration from the fields here because they have a lot of great fields that can help you in ensuring that these are easy to import onto your store. But you can add fields such as the type, price, color, style, location, barcodes, the units ordered or units sold, the manufacturer, and other information. So to get started with customization, you can do a really simple step to just delete the pre-existing data. We can select whatever data there is present and you can just delete that. And once you delete the pre-existing data, you can just add your own. I'm going to delete most of these files like so and once we do that let's proceed with adding our own data so firstly we're going to add the product id then you're going to add an image of your product you can click on this attach option click on browse files and once you do that you can select a file so we're going to use this image over here once we add this image over here we can add the product name so let's say the product name is going to be our ruby red lipstick and we're just going to add this as a new option and we're going to select the type so this is going to be makeup we're going to add a new type of product then we can add the price as well as the color 
like this then we can add the style so if style is nothing relevant we can just skip out this field then we can add the zone so this is going to definitely be dependent on where your product is actually present you can actually go into your warehouse locations and structure your warehouse so let's say i have a separate warehouse for makeup which i have categorized as logi warehouse zone one i think zone m shelf one like this so i can just add that over here then i can just add a shorthand for this so let's say this is our logi yeah this is m yeah logi m before that i'm just gonna choose logi m one like this so this is just easier to select and type and to view then you can also specify the type of products that are held within a certain shelf within your warehouse and this makes it easier to just manage them but it's easier to just add it from here so we're gonna search for our warehouse location this is our logi warehouse shelf one and then after that you can add the barcode of your product you can add the number of units you have present so we're gonna add the units that we have and you guys can see the formula field should be configured in the field drop down menu so we can open this up and once we open this up you guys can see we can't edit it from here instead we have to go into our purchase orders and add it in the purchase orders over here once you do that, you can move towards the units ordered. So you can add those here as well as your units sold. Then you also have your manufacturer, manufacturer price, purchase order, history, as well as your sales orders. And all of this is going to help you in keeping track of your inventory using Airtable. It's a simple and easy system and there is so much customization that you can do. Now, if you want to further customize and automate this, you can go into automations on the top and you can add a automation that can help you in notifying when inventory changes or notify you when a new purchase order is made or notify you when stock is running low. This will ensure that there's a smooth flow of your inventory. And you also have different interfaces that you can build up with this data. So if there is, you know, if there is a larger team and your larger team does not need to, or your supervisors do not need to view every single bit of info, they just want a interface, a simple dashboard that they can view and get a summary about the inventory. So you can click on interfaces and click on start building to build an interface that is going to be just visually simple and easy to use. So just like that, you can use Airtable for inventory management. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.